There are a number of different people who interact with Vault on a day-to-day -day basis, many of whom don't necessarily even know they're using a Vault system. They generally come in three varieties. First, an application developer who's writing an application that either leverages Vault um, to store or retrieve data, or otherwise leverages a process that uses Vault, that leverages a system that sits on top of Vault and uses Vault to orchestrate a security workflow. Um, in our larger Vault enterprise environments, many times uh, application developers don't even know they're using Vault. They're interacting with some other kind of API or system that sits on top of Vault that leverages the capabilities of secrets management, encryption as a service, and identity and access management within Vault to handle security tasks. And this is ideal. And this is ideal for one really simple reason, is that when you have to, as an application developer, be focused on how do I securely store and retrieve data, you invite the possibility of something called a side channel attack. And a side channel attack is an attack where an adversary, a hacker, comes in and navigates around the cryptography uh, that's used to protect data. They effectively circumvent the protections that exist to um, stop someone who isn't allowed to access data from accessing that data. So application developers, it's ideal in many cases they don't necessarily know how to use Vault, but if they do want to use Vault, they need to understand how the API in Vault works, or otherwise the security tooling and infrastructure that surrounds Vault as a whole. Um, other persona that tend to um, interact with Vault include um, whoever is setting up, deploying, and ultimately managing Vault. And this is more of the DevOps kind of like function or SREs that are interacting with Vault on a day-to-day -day basis. Um, for them, the experience is, again, heavily reliant on automation. Um, you know, once you stand Vault up and start getting it up and running, the real times when you only really need to access and manage Vault are when you're adding on new methods for authentication or otherwise configuring new types of secret engines for um, allowing you to uh, store, retrieve, and access information that's sensitive and ultimately protected within Vault. Um, so in that model, the focus is really more on how does one set up uh, automation systems to handle kind of like routine curation uh, and management of Vault. Uh, and then additionally, when they want to, how does one configure Vault to work with newly added components within their infrastructure? And then finally, there's the third um, persona, and that's generally anyone who cares about security as a whole within your infrastructure. Um, how does one who is managing not just Vault, but an entire ecosystem of security tools uh, meant to protect um, you know, a project, a team, or an enterprise, uh, leverage Vault within their infrastructure. And they're probably not gonna be interacting with Vault on a day-to-day -day basis, but the focus of what Vault is supposed to be doing there for them is minimizing that reputational risk that comes with something like a data breach or a cyber attack. And in that model, it's less about, you know, on a day-to-day -day basis, logging into Vault and managing Vault. It's more about being assured that Vault has the correct architecture necessary to protect against their threat profile and threat model.